Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anna. We're going to eat today. So what I have right here, I have uh, French fries, a few onion rings, and I have my sweet pepper popper, sweet pepper popper, sweet pepper popper, sweet pepper popper. So this is what I made this morning and this is really good. And of course, I made some chicken tenders or chicken fingers. This is sick. crunchy right there. So thank you very much guys for eating with me and we are going to eat now because As always hungry okay let's go eat we can try our chicken fingers uh, dip. and I have anyway I got two different dip I have cheese dip sweet and sour dip so we'll try on the sweet and sour and see what it tastes like huh. it's hot mm -hmm. That's my homemade chicken fingers right there. Oh yeah, that's good. Mmm, mmm, pretty good. Ooh, yum. A fries. Mmm. Want my mm -hmm. so good? Mm. Chicken fingers is good. Happy. I want my crackers. I want, I want some crackers. And this is an, this is a honey wheat crackers. <laughs> I can open them. There you go. <laughs> This is one of my favorite crackers. Guess we can put them right here. Mmm. Okay, French fry. This chicken is good. Mmm. So these chicken tenders, I breaded them with rice flour, a little bit of salt, pepper, chili powder, garlic, and deep fry them. This is better than store-bought. Mm. That's really good. And we can try our I'm so excited with my sweet pepper popper sweet pepper popper we'll try this is good. I'm gonna dip them with cheese yeah that's what I'm talking about Oh wow, see the cheese, this is a cream cheese and the cheddar cheese, amazing, let's try without the dip, oh my gosh, look at that guys, mmm, mmm, wow, 
this is good please check out the recipe it's in my vlog mm. wow the pepper just complements with the cream cheese oh amazing oh my gosh this is really good this is better than jalapeno poppers i'm telling you right guys oh mm. the sweetness of the pepper the cake mix that i bread in the pepper good mm. wow mm. This poppers is really good. This tenders is good and sweet and sour, guys. Wow. Okay. Mmm. So good. The chicken. We'll try them with the cheese. Mm. Chicken is good.
Fechado. Permissão do mar? Merece. <risos> não, não. Papers. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Wow. Chicken is good. That's why I always make my own chicken fingers. So much better than buying them uh, frozen. And it's easy to make, you know. And at the same time, you save a lot of money. Because I'm frugal. Hey, you know, if I can save a dollar or two dollars, that's an achievement every time I do that. So I make sure that, like I said, every once in a while, you know, I treat ourselves, you know, we go to a uh, restaurant but it's just for a uh, special occasions, not every day, because, I mean, first, makes you broke. It's just so expensive. Second, you doesn't know what's in it. So I always prefer, especially cooking for my family. I'm very particular, you know. I always make sure that we eat freshly, maybe, you know, not for everything, but I try to eat fresh vegetables. I make my own vegetables, make my own chicken tenders, you know, because it's really nice to be in the kitchen and I love being in the kitchen, you know, I love cooking, you know, and I like experimenting flavors, texture and things like that, you know, um, because, I mean, cooking is fun. Especially if you have a family that really appreciate every flavor that you serve, you know and um it's you know if you are cooking and i think that's really one of the best feelings that you can get every time you cook and you know you serve them with your family and they appreciate it it's really amazing because i know sometimes you know you cook a lot of food and you feed people and they're like oh I'm not sure about that you know uh, what is that you know well I understand sometimes you know they're curious about the color the texture and things like that but until you try it you know you won't know that it's good mmm Wow. Mm. 
and most of the time I don't stick to you know the ingredients if let's say the ingredient is calling for a chicken I try it with pork try it with beef you know doesn't mean that you can tweak it that's why you know you make your own signature dish and like I said I like playing with my flavors and most of the time it comes out pretty good just like this pepper you know most of them they're using jalapeno pepper hey some people won't like the spicy one make a sweet one let me finish up my pepper mm. so good wow amazing so good well thank you very much guys for watching with me and eating with me around the world wherever you are just hanging out or just in your living room or while traveling you know i appreciate you guys for watching my video and please please don't forget to like share and subscribe go find answer up kitchen answer up kitchen and that's where you gonna find me i'm gonna see you later guys bye